<laughs> Ladies and gentle peeps, I'm going to teach you how to use Hurlit and AppChat to post to your web API and uh, maybe even get you started in hacking it. So let's get going. <laughs> Okay, let me show you how to use AppChat so that you can make your own web API programs. Um, so you can use this for hacking, so you can use this for whatever, they, you know, just whatever you need to do with it. So, first thing you're going to do is go to hurlit.com, or actually hurl.it, no.com, and set your uh, destination to post. And then right here, you're going to type in the uh, address that's actually given to you right on the App Inventor program right here. So you can just copy that, paste it right into here, type a forward slash, the word new user, another forward slash, and then whatever you want your username to be is going to go right here. So I'm choosing RMT GTT6 because I have <laughs> five other ones. Um, then you're going to say that you're not a robot launch your request and it'll say your endpoint was successfully created it'll put your uh, username right there and also your password if you lose your password you're never getting it back so take a note of this I would copy this and save it right into you know your Google Doc for this class or something like that because like I said it once it's gone it's gone so remember you're gonna need that number in fact I'm gonna copy it right now okay so um, the way you're going to make posts on here is we'll actually just delete the new user part and now we'll uh, we'll go ahead and we can post text so I'm going to change now this URL I'm going to put question mark text equals and then whatever I want to say um, if you want to space you have to use a plus or you can use an underscore or something I suppose so again I'm going to choose that I'm not a robot launch my request and it says that I stored a string alright and now if I want to get my strings I can change this to get I can delete all that choose that I'm not a robot launch my request and there's my string that I saved these are the values. We'll talk about the values later, uh, but basically that's kind of how you might vote for this. So each string has a value associated with it. So I can increment this string. Um, all right, so let's go now and look at App Inventor and see how we're going to use each one of these things. They all work pretty similar, similarly. Similarly? Anyway, um, all right, so here's your post button. When you click the post button, it's called button get texts, uh, and it's going to have this response from get all posts label that's going to go along with it. So let's look at those two. All right. First off, before you do anything, you're going to set your username right here. So rmtgtt6, and then here is the get text button handler. So it says, when you click this button, it's going to set the URL to the global API. So the global API is right here. It's just a join of the one you get from PLTW and whatever your personal username is. Uh, it doesn't have to be that way. You know, you could make your own uh, just like this. Um, I'll just take that. Like that, All right? Um, or you could even just put this text right there. The nice thing about having it be a uh, variable like it is is this is used numerous times, and you could just change it one time uh, by doing that. But whatever. Okay, so it creates that URL, which is just that. It changes the label response to getting response because it takes a second for it to get a response, and then it calls web get all posts get um, and what that does if you just mouse over it it'll actually tell you what it does performs a get to the to the URL that we 
sends it to, which is you know, just like what Herald's doing. And <clears throat> while that's happening, this is called. So when global get all posts got text, it follow, once it finally gets a response, it's going to set the label response show all text to a decoded JSON response and the response content is going to be the text. Um, it's also going to try to do some event handling so in case there's uh, um, errors or other things like that it's going to list all the strings in turn. Okay. So that's that's how you're going to get text. How you're going to post texts right here. So when you push the post text button, or button post text I guess, it's going to end up posting whatever's in this text box here. So this is going to work in exactly the same way. Um, you click the text button, creates a URL based on what you had before plus question mark text equals just like we did on Hurlit and whatever text is in the text box. Changes the, the label to say getting response and then it finally calls the post text um, call. Now, uh, they don't, it doesn't come automatically, you know, by calling the, this get. You could actually put this right here. I think it would be nice uh, to have that, you know, down here. You could also do things like after that happens, you could clear this text so that it wasn't there anymore. Okay, so this that is how the uh, the reset Whatever. button works. The reset button it works just like okay. posting text. So really. um, <clears throat> um, it creates a URL, uses the API that you already put in, and it sets the rest of the URL to forward slash reset question mark password equals, and then whatever you put in the, the text box, and then it posts it. Now one thing that um, that they don't have on here is any response. So here we had this um, when get all posts and you know it did something with it. We had the post content, response content. This doesn't ever call that in the program that they give you. So but we could do that if we wanted to. We could come down here and we could find web clear and do the same basic thing. We can say when got text this has our response content in it and we could um, look at that. So if we go to hurl it and clear it, it says data for endpoint RMT GTT6 has been cleared. So um, that's how that works. Well, I can get this part right here as a response. Okay, so I could just put a new label in here right there and we can name it, uh, I don't know, clear Posts. Oops. Whatever. It says clear posts are. I meant to say response, but that's good enough. Okay. So now I could set that clear post response text to this response, and it'll actually show it. Um, so that would be really useful if I wanted to know that the responses were actually cleared or not. Um, did it work? If it didn't work, of course I'll get a totally different uh, answer. So if I type in my password wrong, for example, and I launch my request, it'll say error, wrong password, that's not cleared. So I can see you know, that, that there's a difference, right? So that's really helpful. <clears throat> um, Okay, so that's that's the basics on how everything works. The the increment, the vote button, as far as that goes, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you how to do that. Whoops. Except to say that it's very very similar to the the, the post texts. So these are basically the same thing, uh, and you just set them up the same way. You're going to have, you know, in fact, if I was going to do this, I would probably just duplicate this delete this and then change this to be you know what it needs to be obviously this is going to have to change and so on um, but I'm not going to tell you how to do that right now <clears throat>